welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky karma. That's right, we're bringing back a classic. We have a donation deck to play some spooky karma, and uh, that's what we're going to try to do. Now, I'm I'm not sure that spooky karma is going to be good enough in the current metagame. It was it was a good good deck a long time ago, um, but now we have cards like Aurelian Soul and Celestials, and we have some things that can go over the top of it. Um, but we're going to try it out. So basically what we have here is we have Thresh and Karma as our champions. Karma is going to be the most important card in our deck. What we want is we really want an enlightened Karma. That's going to be the that's going to be what our deck's designed to do is just to design to try to stay alive, get an enlightened Karma in play. Because once we have enlightened Karma, then all of our spells are doubled. And so when we play something like Withering Whale, it's going to do two damage to all of our uh, enemies and heal our nexus for six. You know, we'll just double that up. You know, we'll double up Grass the Undying, Field the Drain for six, um, and that kind of stuff. That's, that's kind of what our our deck's about. Um, and then, and it's also, it's also about once we have one Karma in play, then we have another Karma in hand, and then we get inside of Aegis, creating four random spells. And basically, we just never run out of spells because the game's going to go really long. We'll put we'll put two more karmas into our deck whenever we cast one of these, and we'll just keep on finding more karmas that get us more random spells, and, and all those spells will be doubled. And uh, yeah, karma is just a win condition on by itself. So we have our three karmas. We have our three rekindlers to bring them back. We even have a couple of miscalls to help bring them back. Uh, River Shapers in here as the new Shadow Assassin to draw some spells for us. Tasty Fey Folk, a nice blocker there that got uh, has some life steal to be able to help us stay alive. Life steal is going to be pretty important and draining. And so we have these cards that we drain uh, with Unspeakable Horror, Vile Feast, stuff like that. Um, so let's see let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can stay alive, win some games. We'll be trying our best here with Spooky Karma over in Master's Rank. Okay, I gotcha, Enrios. Yeah, you thought Unspeakable Horror was talking shadows. I gotcha. I gotcha. So our deck's probably going to be better against like aggro. Like this is this is the matchup that we want to face. We don't want to face like the the decks with a huge late game. That's going to be more problematic for us. Um, Vile Feast and Withering Whale are definite keeps. River Shaper is probably a keep as well. Love the hapless aristocrat. Perfect draw. Very good hapless aristocrat draw. Fortune favors the bold. All right, so they have misfortune, In which makes blocking much more Strike. difficult. We will we're gonna block those two. What form will the We're setting escape? everything up with one health as far as Withering Whale is concerned. Attack! Get him, spiders! So let's see how Withering Whale does. In place. This is still me going down to 12. <laughs> That's still a lot. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to just do that. Go down to 12. So I could Unspeakable Horror to kill the Legion Grenadier also. But the problem with that is basically I, I was a little worried of Noxion Fervor. And I wanted to be able to have some protection against Noxion Fervor with the Unspeakable Horror. Action, I... That's what I'm thinking there. You wanted wrath. Oh! 
Ideally, I would be able to just pass turn to them. Who's ready for the show? But I was worried. Um, I don't know. I was worried if I pass turn to them, then they just go to attacks. Right, like that's what I'm worried. That's what I was worried about. All right, I'll just play this right now. I've already, I have already. That's good. Already taken damage this turn. No one's the wiser. Lock the doors. Get them all. Now I regret. I definitely regret playing that unspeakable horror. Well, I guess. I guess I couldn't do that and withering whale. Well. You started without me. Remember the objective. For the glory of Noxus. They got a lot of Nexus damage, we have a lot of Nexus healing. Ten mana. So I got Thresh and Withering Whale. Yeah. I don't know, they pass turn. They just pass turn back. Could be a good draw. the Doom Beast. I like keeping Deny available. Um, I can play the Doom Beast or the Tasty Fate Folk, either one. I'll play, I'll play the Doom Beast. Uh, I mean, it would be nice to play the box to kill those. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. This is me going to 14. I could go to 17 if I want to do plus 3, plus 0 on the Twin Disciplines. I'm going to do the plus 0, plus 3, though, to keep the Fae Folk alive. Alright, we're going to say no to that. I'd like to heal my Nexus for 4, please. Thank you. Now leveled up. Th if we get to attack and level up Thresh, that's putting Karma into play. And getting Karma into play off of Thresh is pretty important. Um... That's pretty important because then we can have our other karma be the inside of ages. And that's that's what we want with our other karma. We want it to be inside of ages. Puts you know two karmas into our deck, gives us four new spells. Yep. Jeez. It's the big decks. Cool, another aggro deck. It's the big decks that we gotta be worried about. Um, but it, just because we're good against the aggro decks doesn't mean you win 100% of the time either. It's just you have some, some good stuff for that matchup. We're gonna mulligan three of these. The thing about, maybe I just keep both of them. The thing about Grasp the Undying is it's super slow. Oh man. And so <laughs> it takes a while to cast. But it's very good against both of these champions. Both Draven and Jinx have three health. 
good. Gives us something a little cheaper. Alright, they got Arena Bookie started. My money, my <laughs> Discarding Jury Rig, that's pretty nice. So I'm thinking they'll play Draven and then I grasp the Undying the Draven. No, suit up on that. Well then. I'm just gonna kill Arena Bookie. Scared of another suit up. <clears throat> I don't know how they could have a second suit up that turn. Okay. I guess they could, but. It's Draven time. I'm not he healing my Nexus at all because I'm still at 20. But I just really like getting the the bookie out of there to keep them from being able to cycle through their deck. I guess rummage is the better term. Rummage through the deck. What's up, Astra? Astra's cool. What's that noise? Harvey not an Astra fan. No. That's not good. But playing an aggro deck, they're playing pretty slow. Do I want to unspeakable horror this thing? And then uh, I think I kind of do. So basically, I'm. Uh, I just want to cast this now while we. I know that I have Nightfall turned on. That's what I'm thinking. I don't want to, like, do the... I don't know. I don't want to wait for it to not have Nightfall turned on. Do they just connect or something? You can tell our deck is very anti-aggro. Tough. I really want to kill that arena bookie, but I also want to kill the Draven. I can only do one. So we're going to be casting Withering Will this turn and killing arena bookie. Basically seeing if they play an elusive. Because if I, if I just do it right now, it gives them the opportunity to play both elusives and then attack with, with those as well. Okay, or they just pass. All right. I think that they ha were having some connection problems there towards the end, but we were not losing that. All right, Lee Sin Zed. The most popular deck. I'm not sure how good Spooky Karma is going to be in this matchup. We got a bunch of expensive cards. We'll, we will have to see. Uh, we'll look in the grasp. Basically, keeping Vengeance because it is a way for me to kill Lee Sin. Uh, these things can break up Bastions and just be, kind of be good early. I like that as just something to play on turn three. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. You shouldn't fight at all. Okay. This skull's not bad. Yay, no Zed. Yeah, we have been playing against a lot of Zed Lee today. We played against it, I think, three times with Mountain Diana and beat it every time. One time, maybe it was like Lee something else. I don't remember. What's that? So as long as River Shaper strikes, we draw a spell. Cool, cool. Cool. 
Dancing in Stars. Play this vile feast to get a little one one blocker for it. Do not deny me. I have many faces. I also could just block with like the river shaper and the miss call back river shaper. But I wanna put get thrash into play. And uh, we'll just have this river shaper. So I think my plan is to challenge Zed and attack with River Shaper. They could keep Zed alive. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. A little luck for those who need it. These gems grant a wearer common. Alright, so that plan's not gonna work as well. Kill I the dragon. Wish I had two more mana. I wish I could vengeance with unspeakable horror back up. If I cast vengeance right now, I don't have the unspeakable horror back up next turn either. So basically, I can force them to get a, a Bastion out of their hand. But yeah, we'll just we'll just wait. Um, so much power crippled by restraint. Power is nothing without. Get Karma into play. Hopefully, Karma finds some good stuff for me. Could be worse. Conflict is all in the mind. Maybe they don't attack. Alright, they attacked. Center your spirit. Hey, welcome back, Potato. Got a dentist appointment. Got wig grade, everything a okay. Glad to hear. Currents pull them down. I think my plan is double mist call. Could also go rekindler. Rekindler is probably better. Just make sure we get karma back with rekindler. Yeah, we have had a, a good day at Runeterra. I'm worried about this game. What form will the waters take? No, I've got a double miscall. Rekindler will always bring back karma. Shadows. That was not doing too much. That could be multiple things to die to level up Thresh. Gonna go this route. The knife is unfortunate. Yeah, Bastion, we would have been fine. I wanted to see Bastion because we have Unspeakable Horror to stop Bastion. Deny was the, pro was the problem card. Ah, 
If I pass turn, Karma creates a, a random card, and then I draw a card, so then I the card that I draw gets obliterated. If I pass turn. But I think that's just how it's going to be, because I really want this three mana. So I think that's just how it's going to be. I guess I could kill this Claws of the Dragon. I fight with the dragon's fury. Doesn't help. Maybe they don't have burst spells. Now they got rid of that pill cascade. Glory. Yeah, no, no spells to give that challenger. Nope, never mind. I'll see this group. Prepare yourself. Never mind. Strike, we will reform. Darn. Needed Bastion, not deny. As much as we have suffered. No, it's not cast ruination. Yeah, it was. No, I made the right play. I just had to hope they had Bastion and, and not deny. Just playing ruination and then they have Bastion. That would have been very bad. All right, so Trundle, Aurelian Soul. Um, so I don't know. I don't. It's a difficult game to play. It's a difficult game. That's a difficult deck to play against when you're playing all spells, like we're playing. For sure. Um, this is the kind of matchup that we don't want to face. The the Aurelian Soul decks, they go really big. Uh, I'm going to try Ruination and see if we can Ruination some stuff and maybe a Deny against something. We can't deny the Ramp cards. It's, the Ramp cards are a big problem, them getting out faster than us. Just want to see more Noxus. I like... I like playing against the Noxus decks. Nothing escapes my watch. I have a Rosen Sentry. Yuck. That card's awesome. Water changes but never breaks. Thought me smell something. That card's awesome too. Now we hunt. I don't want to extend too much with like playing the Fey Folk with sweepers on both sides. Tastes purple. Yay. Astra need some help. There's no way to hide. Yeah, so Astra's pretty cool. That's when you click on Astra. Footprints here. Off we go. This is not good. Alright, 
Alright, setting up so the Weirding Stones does die to Withering Whale now. The Withering Whale can take out the 2-1 and the 0-1 also put those down to 2 health where River Shaper can fight those. Oh man. So much ramp. And you cannot deny the ramp cards. Can't deny that either. So they're gonna have nine mana next turn. Not enough for Aurelian Soul yet. Form will the waters take? Waters Good, I like that vile piece. So we're at five out of six. So we know they'll have a really in soul <clears throat> next turn. So I was thinking about, I was considering file feasting my own hapless aristocrat, and then Thrash would be leveled up, and I'd be able to like grasp the undying my Thrash. Wish we had leveled up Thrash. We did kill an infinite mind splitter and an Aurelian soul. So that was cool for a little bit. The heavens diminish without my attention. Passage unearned. <laughs> what? Peace begins with I don't know what we're gonna do with that card. Vengeance will be able to take down Aurelian Soul now through the Spell Shield. But obviously they have all of the Celestial cards. And they have a full hand. Ten cards in hand. Gross. Um, I am going to need... I'm not going to... I'm not going to deny that. I'm going to need to draw another Karma. So that we can have the Inside of Ages and get that going. That's what we need. We need another Karma. I will be denying that. That is obliterate, that's not just kill. So I can't just like Cease. let that happen and then missed call. of Palm. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll kill our own karma, bring it back. Double stun this thing. We must 
back in for a bunch. Come on, another karma. Third Aurelian Soul? Come on. They think themselves cultured. Do I even block this 9-6? It's the main question. Do I block the 9-6? Let's take it. Alright, so we've killed three Aurelian Souls. Bad news is they have eight cards in hand, and I have two kind of crappy cards. Um. confident in this game going that much longer. We're gonna try to win right here. Nine damage, nine life. No. I tried. I tried. have so many cards still I mean, it's, we have to draw another karma like that's that's what, that's what we have to draw um, none, of, none of these other cards are going to do it for me we've killed two mind splitters and three aurelian souls but they have a ton of celestials in hand because they haven't played any celestial card i guess they i guess no they did play two celestial cards Alrighty. we still are going to be having more Karma. Nope. Hello. 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 That's probably game now. Now another karma doesn't do anything for me. Maybe we create I don't know, maybe we create Lunari Priestess that goes and finds something really cool with the invoke. Maybe. This'll take the chill off. Double cast this and create two Nightfall cards. There's Lunari Priestess. Good. Yeah, because it just it just double cast the same one. So yeah, we create the same one. So perfect. We created the best one we could. Lunari Priestess. Come on, Lunari Priestess! Get another Lun Lunari Priestess? Fade Stalker. 
Alright, what do they have? What is this? The Great Beyond? So I can't attack, so if I attack and then they play Great Beyond, then I die. So... If they're out there, I'll spawn. We have to see if, if they play Great Beyond, then I challenge with the Scourge. And I don't really want to allow them to block with the Avaros and Sentry, honestly. I know your true heart. One more karma left in our deck. Sure. Yeah, they they definitely could have waited a turn with that elusive. King of trolls coming through. This passage under does nothing. <laughs> turn on nightfall. We can have double living legends. Well, that doesn't really do anything, but it's just one living legends. That's probably better than just taking one of these things. What did the stars reveal, Mother Moon? Double living legends doesn't really do stuff. But should I pass priority? So if I to go comic inspiration in <laughs> yeah, co comic. Cosmic inspiration. Remember this is doubled, so we'll, all of our allies will have plus four plus four. Then I'll have six mana. So six mana can give me serpent and a traveler. Or we could we could play written in stars to draw a thresh, most likely. Probably want the Traveler. Get a 7, 8 plus an, an additional invoke. I think it's better than Written in Stars. Give me a 6, 7 elusive. They're just passing. More Cosmic Inspiration? Do I need my units even larger? Or do I just take another Serpent? I'm not sure exactly why the Ice Pillar isn't being played. I, mean, I guess because I can challenge and kill the Ice Pillar immediately. When others threaten, we must take action. They're letting me attack into Trundle with my 6-5? Silver light and shroud us. If only these weren't fleeting. <laughs> I want those still in my hand. If this refilled my spell mana, like, you know, it just got nerfed to not refill spell mana anymore. But if it did if it still did refill spell mana, I would have been able to play Written in Stars as well instead of this. Uh, I could have waited till next turn for Shade Stalkers, but I could have played the Written in Stars also. Okay. So if we attack. Kill that thing. Do not question our resolve. Look out for reavers. Let's talk about your tab. <laughs> yeah, we need to make that card unfleeting. Ready the torches. Yeah, I would not have been surprised at Hush. Glad not Hush. At least for now. Not Hush. Your 
king. This is gonna be close. One dragon left in their deck, probably a third infinite mind splitter, right? Like we've killed two infinite mind splitters and two Aurelian souls, and they just drew a dragon. So it's probably a third infinite mind splitter. Hide no longer. Brothers. All right, give another plus four, plus four. Welcome to the tipsy hour. We're doubling the vial fee, so we're getting two units. Two nine nines. They can cast Hush three times. Yeah, so that Hush is the card that keeps them alive. Um, I think I still attack with Karma. Yeah, I guess we attack with Karma. That's basically the debate of attack with Karma or not. If they have Hush, they win this game. Likely. If they don't have Hush, they likely lose this game. I've got meat bigger than you. We know one of their five cards is Infinite Mind Splitter. So that's not Hush. No, they had Hush. Darn. They just drew it too, it was the very last card over here, right? It's like they just drew it this turn. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Could be cool, we don't really have the room for that. Yeah, I know it was left because it was played, but whenever they played it, wasn't it also the card on the left? Do they attack here or nah? I wish I could, <laughs> I wish I could, uh... Just obliterate one of these things and just play Rekindler. I guess. I guess we just play this. They're not gonna attack. All right, no hush. No hush. Wow, what a game. Victory. We took down three Aurelian Souls. I am really happy that we went three and one. So far. All right, not Noxus. We'd like to see Noxus, but still not the worst. This is a deck that's, you know, about challenging and controlling the board. And we don't really care about having a board. We're just going to be trying to use removal spells. So they should have all three denies. And that's something that we need to watch out for. Um... But we'll keep Vengeance, we'll keep Thrash. The next expansion is going to be the end of the month. I don't. I think that probably the 26th. Or like, well, well, sorry, the 27th. Like the very last week of the month. Like the, the Tuesday is whenever... Uh, or like, I guess maybe the 28th. Because when, Wednesday's when it's implemented. So I guess the 28th, sorry. So that's when it should come out. It's the very last... Part of the month. Hello. Oh, hello. So with them not Never playing anything the, the first two turns, life. yeah, I was kind of thinking they'd have River Shaper. I wish I had my own River Shaper against their River Shaper. Walking is strange. Currents pull them down. What form will the waters take? Waters are. Still but sorry, I was thinking Fiora, and I didn't want to play my River Shaper, and then they played Fiora. I was really worried about that. The eye of twilight sees all. Water changes but never breaks. Oh, 
Where are you? Hmm. Honor dictates both our actions. So there's the first barrier for Shen level up. It's all good. We have Rekindler that can bring back Thrash. shape the land and give it life not too big of a deal there that last one so they have deny mana available for my vengeance oh well i'm still gonna cast it so that's one out of three one out of three denies they can only have two more so i'm imagining they give the river shaper the barrier we will drain and get rid of that barrier. Strike, we will and then block. Please, you can I just block over access. here. Mountain Diana's Mountain Scryer, the Targon Allegiance card. It's a lot of a lot of invoke. It's, got, it's like Nightfall and Invoke. Um, a couple two Aurelian Souls at the top end also. It's really cool. You have. You know, Lunari, Solar, Lunari and Solari Priestess and the Mountain Scryers, you get to uh, do tons of invoking. Let's just, let's like just wait a little bit on the Rekindler. If you'd like to see the deck list, um, all my decks are right there on that mobile edX page. If you click on over there, it'll be one of the very first uh, results. Yeah, it is fun because you get to you get to get tons of card advantage. You never run out of stuff, but um, but even though you know you never run out of stuff, but you're still affecting the board. It's not like you're just playing deep meditations and salvages and stuff like that. You're still affecting the board by playing a bunch of like two ones and stuff. That's two denies gone. Into the forest. I'll stop you. Okay. Cast two denies. have the third with their four mana they have the third deny well we got one too there you get two more units two things that just died Double thrash. Invisible to the ignorant. Ready to do my part. Alright, so those are the two elites they grabbed. Neither one of them very scary. Yep, all so now all three of their denies are gone. I long for a worthy opponent. Have a second thrash in here. Let's start having some things die. That'd be good for thrash. My shield is yours. Sure. For the honor of House Onga. All right, remove that barrier. Sisters. 
do an extra point of damage. Keep Thresh alive. No, Prismatic Barrier. Strike without worry. That could be a problem. I have no Eastwood. You don't see many people playing Prismatic Barrier in this list. That could be that could definitely be a problem. Alright, probably not anymore. Now we have double you know, double up Grass the Undying, so Barrier can't save Fiora anymore. Yes, yeah, so that was the second concerted strike. Your move. And I think they played one single combat. I think no, maybe not. No, maybe not. Just two concerted strikes. Away with you, stranger! From my homeland. You don't scare me. Hoping they don't have another. Single combat or concerted strike right here. With their hands just filled with barriers. Oh, judgment. No, they don't have judgment mana, okay. Oh, double single combat. Game over. Wow. Yeah. GG's. They got me. I guess that's how I would lose. Repost plus. Repost plus single combat plus single combat. That did defeat me with my plan. Um, yeah. GG's. Alright, so we went three and two with our Spooky Karma deck. Definitely respectable. Very, very respectable. We even defeated the top end deck, the Aurelian Soul deck, with a crazy, crazy game. Uh, love that. So the great part about this deck is it's really, really good against Noxus decks, as we saw. Even like that that matchup that we just played against, I think that's a, a real good matchup for us too. Um, I did lose it, um, you know, but I think that's a real good matchup for us. They did have, you know, they did have all three denies, which you know helped them out. I. I think that most of the time your opponent's not going to have three denies, and most of the time you're you're going to be winning that matchup. But they they got us there because uh, basically that that Shen Fiora deck is going to they're going to struggle doing twenty points of damage because that deck doesn't do much damage; it's just about controlling the board. They're going to usually struggle with that, but the the cards just played out in a way that that worked out really well for them, uh, or you know like they ended up winning that game. Uh, but yeah, I was, so I was pretty impressed. I was, I was not, I didn't have high expectations, uh, but we, we, we were definitely competitive. Did really well against Aggro, um, struggled against Lee Sin, and uh, were able to hold our own against Aurelian Soul plus. Well, I mean, how many Obliterate cards do they have? Like five, five Obliterate cards on my Karmas, <laughs> probably. But we are still able to hold our own, and uh, yeah, our deck did really well. All right, but anyway, that's Spooky Karma. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think about the deck, the games, anything like that. Love seeing those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.